with in excess of 1,393 persons losing their life in Jamaica. The JCF Upper Iraqi Security in Jamaica have introduced its new crime fighting strategy. Take a listen at this video and then we'll talk about it. Now people, what you see here is one of the lethal weapons in a Jamaica that is going to be used. You see that he has the pouch, he has all the crime strategies in his stomach. He is resting, laying in the cut, just waiting for those people to commit any sorts of crime so that he can pounce upon them and take them and give them the fullest extent of the law. She propi 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 prop. Kepasa sak pa say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. This one is called. It seems as if we are living in our last days, or better yet, it seems as if the security minister, the prime minister, the upper hierarchy of the JCF. They are days, they are confused, they have zero strategy. As a matter of fact, in an interview that was done by your Prime Minister in 2024, the start, the other day, he is pretty much patting himself on the back and saying, don't you see that crime is better? Don't you see that serious crimes have decreased over the past year? Don't you see that our strategy is working? We need to implement the same strategy, but people, the truth and the fact, like I said before, these people are confused. This is what happens when you have your security minister that is no sorts of security expert. This is what happens when we have people that are in the upper hierarchy of the poor, poor force that either is ignorant to the job or they don't care. Whenever there's any sorts of community where justice is not spread across the board, meaning that poor people can get the full extent of the law, however, rich people, people at the face guard, and people that are considered in the body body club can pretty much get away with robbing billions of dollars and also taking away just about anybody in which they choose, there is always going to be a problem. And then when you compound this with no sorts of economic plan or strategy, one thing or a couple of things that make you know that a country is safe and productive. Health sector, security, education. Those three are woefully lacking on top of poverty, on top of the people just don't give a D.A.M. The ministers, the people that we put on a pedestal that are supposed to know good or do better, they are just as bad as the common criminal. So therefore, it is the blind that is leading the blind. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called, Sorry for Maga Dog, them turn round and them bite you. This has been happening over and over for decades, but it seems as if People keep all sorts of sympathy party and a sorry for people, even if they are your family member, even if they are considered to be some sorts of good friend. Because when it comes to good friends, it seems as if the thing that causes good friends to go bad or friendship to go bad is money or property. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Coco Peace, that is in Cross Keys, that is in Manchester to be specific. Where a 51 year old man, Mr. Gary Taylor, lost his life at the hands of some sorts of family members that he felt sorry for. Based on the information, it is said that this is over a dispute about a house or rent that is not being paid in good accord. Based on the information, it is said that at about 5 p.m. on Tuesday, Mr. Gary went over to a house to dispute some sorts of rent or ask some sorts of people to vacate or leave the premises because they were not paying, the rent was not forthcoming. It is said while he was there some sorts of argument developed, escalated in a some sorts of big B-R-A-W-L. Mr. Gary Taylor 
was Claude Claude Top. E was C H O P P E D up. E was S T A B B E D up by the same people that he was disputing. The same people that him feel sorry for and make them stay at the house. And when they could not pay the money and he asked them to leave, this is the result of it. What is even worse, it is said that the house is owned by Mr. Geary's mother. Mr. Geary's mother went by there before there was some sort of dispute. So it seems as if Geary feel as if it was, it was his job to defend his mother and go over there and make sure that he got rid of these riffraff, even though they were family member people. They were not having it. So based on what the Popo are saying, Mr. Gear was pretty much D-E-A-D -E on the spot. He was rushed to the hospital. Another family member was taken into custody for the takeaway of Gary who felt sorry for these people. Kept some sorts of sympathy party. Keep them in the house not paying any sorts of rent. A family member known as Michelle said that, listen, this has been going on since last year. It is very sad to see that this lady rent the people in our place. Them no one paid the rent so therefore the son took it up in her own hands and only to lose his, his life at the hands of some family member who were delinquent on some sorts of rent not paid. People, please learn from this. Whenever you have your family member, I am not going to say to turn your back on them. However, support them from a distance. Do not take them in your house, in your premises. Do not take them around your family. Because sometimes they are actually jealous of you. Sometimes they are just some bums. And whenever you facilitate any sorts of F-U-C-K-R-Y, like I've always said, whenever you dance with the devil, he always screws you over. Sorry for Marga dog, him turn round and bite you. This is the case in this case. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, people, there is going to be a demise of the dancehall music, the genre of dancehall. Not to say that it is not already suffering. However, it seems as if these new crop of dancehall artists, me no know if them are some sorts of black cat. However, anywhere they go, there seems to be some sorts of problem and people. This was evident in a Canada. Based on some sorts of information, it is said that dancehall artists had some sorts of show in a Canada on Saturday. While persons were outside joining the line trying to get in, there was some sorts of drive-by. One young lady pictured on the screen she lost her life. Fast forward less than 24 hours after, an next dancehall artist known as 450. He was supposed to have a concert on Sunday, that is the next day. It is said that there was all sorts of shooting incident outside of that club. Don't know if anybody got hurt. However, people, this is more than coincidental. Don't know if one is a reprisal for the next one or the two of them had nothing to do with each other. However, isn't it more than coincidental that two dancehall artists, new dancehall artists just bust on the scene, two of them have a show in a foreign in a Canada and the two show them get caught up. Pretty much one person lost their life, other persons were running. People go to these shows for entertainment value. They do not go there to pretty much put their life in danger. However, people, whenever you go to any sort of dancehall event, especially certain dancehall artists, you stand a great chance of losing your life or even getting hurt. So people, this is my disclaimer once again. I am not saying that any of these dancehall artists are responsible for anything that took place. Me just as say. Dancehall already have some sorts of B-L-A-C-K-I. So therefore when they keep constantly, repeatedly getting all sorts of bad reviews, it is not good for the genre. It is not good for these young dancehall artists. But people like me say it seems more than coincidental. Whenever you see there's any sorts of smoke, there is always fire. That means uh, something in a something. Somebody saw, somebody coming like some sorts of black cat. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. 
Bless up.